You're welcome back. This is News File. It's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And I go straight to Samson's take. My take today, I title it Ahmed Swale, my RTI request number one. I have, through my takes, written about the law on many issues to educate and share knowledge. I have sought to educate that the law prohibits littering, not fixing your roadworthy sticker on the front windscreen of your car, recording someone without their permission unless the purpose among others is to prevent disorder or crime or for public safety. I have written about the ideals of the founding of Ghana and the rights and duties of citizens in the Constitution, including to foster a spirit of loyalty to country, promotion of the culture of political tolerance, national unity, living in harmony with others, the duty to protect and preserve public property, expose and combat misuse and waste of public funds and property. I have given education on your fundamental human rights which you must not allow police or anybody to violate. And I have led crusades, especially against corruption. I have received massive encouragement that spurs me on to continue to invest time on my take, knowing that knowledge of the law does not only empower and give individuals confidence generally, but it makes a country better. In this election year, 2020, I shall do a lot of voter education and also take you into the RTI law so you know how to request information and what to do when your request is refused. By Act 989, there should be by now the Independent RTI Commission with a seven-member board to drive implementation of the law. The President is enjoined by the law to appoint people with expertise who must not occupy any other office of profit or engage in any partisan political activity. It is to promote, monitor, protect, and enforce your right to information. It is this commission's job to create awareness and give education on your right to information. Public institutions mandatorily must publish manuals telling you the kinds of information they generate and store, which departments you must contact, and the manual must contain contact details of information officers to whom you should submit your request. But these institutions require guidelines to prepare these manuals, which the RTI Commission must have published by now. In part two, I will continue the education on the structures the law mandates for implementation of the RTI. Today, though, I file a public request for information on why no one is standing trial, answering for the assassination of Tiger Eyes Ahmed Swal Hussein Swale. A year ago, he was killed, and obviously, over the investigative piece that will change the face of corruption reading football number 12. He was the key witness for the state in planning prosecution. His death cannot end that plan. Number 12 was teamwork. Let the state provide sufficient protection for witnesses, for people to answer for his killing, and the expose in the documentary number 12 right now. That's my take today.